Hi, I'm Alyssa with um, Hisense US. So, and today here at CES, we have the world's first RGB mini LED TV. It's the 116 Tri Chroma LED TV. This TV obviously is 116 inches. It's huge. It uses our brand new RGB local dimming technology. Um, and what that does is basically the TV is powered by Hisense's High View AI Nginx chipset. Hisense makes their own chipsets for their TV, and this one powers this TV using tens of thousands of mini LEDs. And each LED is powered individually by an RGB lens, so red, green, and blue, and that just means the color is controlled perfectly and most accurately, so you're not getting any yellowish greens or purplish blues. Every color is spot on. Um, is that the, the backlight that is a uh, trichroma? Yes. Correct. So that helps to have a color instead of just having single color backlight? Exactly. So if you need to dim blues, you can dim them individually instead of having to dim your entire TV. Um, this helps reduce blue light emissions by around 40%, which is really nice. Um, this TV reaches over 97% of the BT2020 color scale and emits over 10,000 nits of peak brightness. World's first and it's you decided to make it in a huge display. Yeah, this is Is the it world's... only work in such a big dis display? Yes, this year it's only coming in the 116, but um, as typical for Hisense, we usually introduce a premium technology and then bring it down over the years. So you can definitely anticipate this technology being more widely available in the coming years. It's huge, but that's, that's really in a big demand, the bigger and bigger TVs, especially in the US, right? Yeah, exactly. Hisense actually in 2024 was the number one seller of TVs 85 inches and above. And is it too expensive? Like, is it hard to afford this one or? We don't have pricing or availability yet. That should come later this year. But you have some of these, like uh, for example, the 100 inch or something that are those not are too just, expensive, right? Those are just global models. That's just the concept. But we do have 100 inch models in our ULED series, like the U8, for example, and that's definitely more affordable. How affordable? Like it's totally uh, like less than 3,000 or something? Or Yeah, you can catch it on sale for less than 3,000. Usually it's in the three to 5K range. For 100 inch TV, it's yep. amazing. Yeah. With a really good uh, upscaling technology, processing. Exactly. All of our premium features, including um, Wi Fi 6E, next gen TV, IMAX, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, all of that good stuff. And it here also you got has a really bunch strong of, uh, audio as well. Uh, prices just for this TV. Uh, what was that? All these guys, they say it's the best of CES. Yes, yeah. We've got tons of awards, over about 20, I believe, for this TV alone. Uh, how good is the high sense upscaling or, or processing compared to all the competitors? Very good. Like I mentioned before, we create our own chipsets and that really helps us be able to perfect all of that technology behind the TV. So just looking at this, you can see the color and the brightness kind of speaks for itself. And at this size, you would want to do 8K, right? This is a 4K TV. But uh, like, you, you want to have a big living room then. You want to have, the, oh, yeah, you need to sure. fit it in a, in a big living room right here. And do you show some new uh, micro LED? Yeah, we have our 136 right over this corner. Um, this is Hisense's first micro LED TV we're introducing to consumers. It's just this one right here on the left. Um, you can see we have a 163 and a 108, but those are just concepts for now. They won't be coming um, to the market this year. So 136 inch 4K. Yep. Um, this is our first micro LED technology, so it's all about pixel level precision. This TV powers over 24.88 million LEDs to create this insanely bright and colorful picture. Um, this TV surpasses OLED in terms of brightness and color purity, and it's also resistant to burn-in that a lot of OLED TVs suffer from. So Hisense is fully committed to the micro LED technology. They believe this will be the TV of the future. And so like I mentioned before, um, you know, in the coming years, you can expect micro LED TVs by Hisense to maybe become more widely available in different screen sizes and price ranges and everything like that. Is it 136K dollars? Or you <laughs> no. don't say? No, we don't have pricing yet, but I don't think it'll be up there. And let's let's walk just to here for the seeing the future stuff also. Is that also 4K or it's maybe even more than 4K? We have no, this is just a concept right now. There's really no details on it. All right. 
uh, but it's using the underlying same micro LED technology. Yeah. Like the 130s. And, um, and then there's also a smaller one here. Hopefully you can still fit 4K in the smaller ones, but we'll see later. Yeah, we'll see in the coming years. All right, that's great. Uh, how's the power consumption on micro LED? Good. There, um, thanks to the AI chipset that I was mentioning before, there is a lot of energy saving modes. Um, so, for example, this the TV using the AI chipset will kind of measure the brightness in the room that it's in, and then it'll alter um, the brightness it's emitting to have a good balance. So it's still giving you a really bright picture, but it's not overpowering. So it helps uh, save energy. Which is Do you nice. talk about how you bring it into people's homes? Is it all in one piece or you have different modules, you plug them together to make the whole screen? Um, I'm not say, too sure huh? about the details on that yeah. one yet. Yeah, because it might be uh, useful to have different pieces that but it looks like it's one piece because you have the maybe there's a frame and then you put the different parts inside. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All right. And uh, here at your booth, you have a very huge booth. There's so many other things happening, right? Uh, yeah, so many other things. You can see um, our TVs and our projectors in action um, in gaming modes. You can see some projectors. We have our Canvas TV, which we introduced last year as well. Yeah. So we've got Is lots going on. Is it possible to quickly on. have a look at the projector for one second? Yeah. Yeah. So it's right in there behind. Yeah. So here we see some projectors. Yeah, so this is our C2 series. We introduced it last year, um, starting with the C2, which is the most basic, and then we move up into the C2 Pro, and then um, the C2 Ultra right here. This is our newest release, um, and as you can see, it has a 365 swivel. So it's our most portable laser TV. It's really easy to use. Um, 4K. 4K. You can also twist it up in case you want to project something on the ceiling, which is nice. Uh, it ranges from 65 inch projection up to 300. It uses our trichroma triple laser technology, so you're getting a really bright and great picture. And then the brightness reaches up to about 2600 lumens, I believe. DLP cutting edge implementation, I guess, for the projector. And you're showing it off here in this room? Is yeah, this a full 300 it. inch? No. You could see it right on the ceiling up here to your left. Oh, there. But is it 300 inch what it's projecting? Yeah. That's how it there. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, there's some. Uh, there's some really interesting speakers here. Are they from uh, High High Sense? Yeah, these are brand new. We partnered with Devale, which is a um, French premium speaker brand, um, and we're actually showcasing that with our brand new laser TV, the L9Q. Nice. Because how good is the sound in this room? Can you explain how good it is? It's like really. Uh, oh, sorry. Got these. Wow. Nice. That's a cool room to experience. And yeah. the speaker technology you say was over here? Yes, it's in our L9Q, um, which you can see right here. So that's a short throw, ultra short throw? It's an ultra short throw. It only needs to be 0 0.18 inches away from your wall. So basically right on top of it, you don't need to designate a whole room um, to its setup. It's really sleek and um, a great picture. It ranges from How good 100. is the quality of the image here? Good, it's um, 5K lumens, which is a big upgrade from the previous series, which was about only this, 3K. This one? Yeah, this right one. there. So 5K lumens. All right, uh, you have a very high peak brightness on it. And then uh, is it very expensive? How, how do you talk about the price on we this? We don't have pricing available yet for this one either. It will be available in 2025 though, so you can keep an eye out for that. Uh, Hisense, you might be one of the market leaders in ultra short throw 4K yeah. for a bunch of years already. Yeah, probably. Um, a lot of people like it. It's something new for the home theater enthusiast. Um, and we have so many options available, so something really for anyone and it's one way to get a huge display also exactly yeah this one ranges up to 100 to 150 inches all right and with a advanced ai 4k upscaler so you can rediscover all the old movies collection that you might have and like just see more detail somehow 
Yeah. It's a new experience every time. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So how has it been the CES? Good, very busy. We've had a very successful CES. A lot of people are very excited of what we have to offer. Of course, there's a lot of global models on display, but our US products um, have created a lot of buzz. It's been great so far. And what's your market position? You're like getting in the top three now, no? Yeah. In the US yep, or what? Yeah. We're in the top three. Um, great progress over the years. People are really starting to love Hisense and look at us more as a premium brand, which is exactly what we want. H top three worldwide or just US? Maybe. But I think I heard that uh, Hisense is trying to get in the top two or something. It's yeah. even gonna, it's, it's just gonna keep growing. Yeah, definitely want to keep growing for sure.